cable from B to C and there is a force in the cable and it's known as 840 Newton. Then this whole girder is fixed at point A and we need to find the reactions at that particular point. So first thing you're going to do is to draw the free body diagram and we need to redraw this again and then we look at the actual forces. So P, there is a force this is called F and it has the magnitude as 840 Newton. So that's one force. Then A is a support which is totally fixed. So if it's totally fixed, then this particular point of the pole cannot move in x direction, it cannot move in the y direction, and it cannot move in the z direction. So there is absolutely no translation at point A. So <coughs> there is a reaction for this. The reaction force was A, and it has three components. You will have one component, <coughs> call this as AX, then you have another component, we call this as AY, then you have another component, we call this as AZ. <coughs> so <coughs> these are the three unknown components of the reaction which is unknown at point A. So that's going to be A X of I, this being an unknown, plus AY of J, again this being an unknown, plus AZ of K, again this being an unknown. And again, I repeat that those unknowns show up because that point cannot move in any particular direction. Then <coughs> this point cannot rotate. It was fixed, so there is no rotation in any direction. This gives you another unknown couple. Let's call this as MA. And it will have three components. You have one along the x-axis. <coughs> you call this as, let's say, MXA. Then you have another one along the y. Call this as MYA. And you have another one along the C, you call this as MCA. So these are three unknown components of the couple, which is the reaction at point A. So I'm going to write this as MXA, again, this being an unknown, plus MYAJ, again, that's being an unknown plus M C A times K. <coughs> Where this one is also unknown. So if I look at the actual unknowns, if I, or if I count all the unknowns, you have A X, A Y, and A Z. These three are unknowns. And then you have M, X, A, M, Y, A, and M, Z, A. These are also unknowns. So at point A, you have a total of two reactions. When I say we have two reactions, I'm referring to this force here, and I'm referring to this couple here. So there are two unknowns, but this is three dimensions. Each of these unknowns have three components. And as a result, there will be six numbers. Those are going to be unknowns. Then <coughs> we look at the equations. 
And we're going to look at the equations of equilibrium. The force equation is going to be the resultant force should go to zero, which means we take all the forces in the problem, which is the known reaction A, then we have an applied force F, we write that in form of vectors and that should go to zero. So that is your <coughs> force equation, then we need a moment equation. So <coughs> I am just going to take the resultant and let us say it is about point A. We choose this point and sum the moments about that point. And this also is going to be a vector equation and <coughs> all of that should add up to zero. <coughs> so looking back at the problem, you find that you couple M A is first term and then that is going to give you a moment about the chosen point which happened to be A.